So question uh, number eight here, this is um, 5.1 part two. Uh, let's do some more questions here. So in number eight it says, in a picture a man measures 2.3 centimeters. So this is in a picture. So that looks like a model, right? That's the representation. That's not the man's actual height. His actual height is 1.78 meters. He is standing beside a flagpole that measures 7.6 centimeters in the picture. Okay, so again, here's another measurement for the model. What's the actual height of the flagpole to the nearest tenth of a meter? Okay. Well, we have some options here. We want to write um, a ratio if we can. So we've got 2.3 centimeters is the picture of the man, right? And his actual height is 1.78 meters. Okay, and over here we have the tree in the picture is 7.6 centimeters and we want to know the actual measurement in meters. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, you know, we have, a, we have a bit of an issue here. I, I see that we have two different units, right? Two different units. Now, um, what we should do is we should get the units to be the same. Okay, it's always a good idea. If, uh, and, and we'll, we'll maybe do an alternate uh, version of this question in a minute, but we should get them to be the same. So can we convert easily um, one of these to the other, like meters to centimeters? Maybe that might be the easiest. How many uh, centimeters is in 1.78 meters? There's 100 centimeters in a meter. So this is going to be times 100, right? Right on. So we have 2.3 over 178. And those are both in centimeters, so I can really, I can, I can drop the units now. And I want to make a proportion here, 7.6 over x. Now this x is going to be in centimeters, right? I need the x in meters, so we'll keep, we'll keep that in mind. But let's find out what the actual tree is in centimeters, and then we'll convert it back to meters, okay? So do you remember from yesterday how we solved this proportion? We would go, yeah, that x goes up there. So the x is up here now. The, it's not here anymore. The 178, I don't want the 178 on the same side as the x, so it's going to go over here. So we're going to have 7.6 times 178 over here. And then the 2.3, I don't want the 2.3 there, so it's got to go down to the other side as a dividing. So divided by 2.3. Okay, so that's again some kind of shortcut action there to find out how you can get x. So, oops, not what I wanted to do. All right, so well, let's get rid of this. 7.6 times 178 divided by 2.3 is 588.1, we'll go 17. So x equals 588.17, that's going to be centimeters, right? So the question asks for this measurement in meters. So you remember how we go back to meters now? Now we divide by 100, very good. So, x equals, if we divide this by 100, you can do that in your calculator, or you can just move the decimal place back two times. That's gonna be 5.8817 meters. And if we want to round it to the nearest tenth, then I, this is the spot we need to write, and this is greater than five, so we're gonna make this what? Five point nine meters, yeah, 5.9 meters, okay, all right, now I, I, I want to show you something, there, some, now, it, it, to have the same units, pretty good idea, because if you have a bunch of different units, get everything to the same units, and you don't have any trouble, but I do want to show you something here, okay, now, this might be kind of interesting, but if, and this will actually save you a little bit of time, okay, so this is our answer. Now watch this. If we have in the proportion the same units on top and we have the same units on the bottom, even if they're different, we don't have to change anything. So watch what happens here. 
I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the x up there. I'm going to put the 1.78 up there. I'm going to leave that as 1.78. I'm going to put the 2.3 down here so that I have x equals, I have 7.6 times 1.78, and I'm dividing by 2.3. And so if the units on top are the same and the units on the bottom are the same, check out what happens here. So 7.6 times 1.78 divided by 2.3 gives us, look at that, 5.8817, which is our 5.9. And you see what the unit was at the beginning? Meters. So there is a little shortcut. Getting to the same units that's always a good idea but in a proportion if you have the same units on top and the same units on the bottom even if they're different from the top you can still uh, you can still do that just notice that these are the units that X is going to be in not centimeters it's going to be in meters if this one over here is in meters it basically saves you a, a step okay Does that make sense Okay, so, uh, let's see what you can do now for uh, number nine. Okay, so why don't you guys go ahead and do number nine. I'll give you a few minutes to do that, and then uh, we can check on your answers in a few minutes. So page 240, uh, focus on number nine. Take a few minutes to do that. Well, we have 1.9 meters, so that's how many centimeters? Right. One nine zero. Okay. So same thing that we've been doing here um, in the previous question. So I want to get x by itself. So all I need to do is to move the one ninety up there and multiply it. So x actually equals one ninety divided by eighty seven point five. So two point one seven is fine. 2.17, and that's going to be centimeters, isn't it? Okay. All right, so um, that's number nine. So those are, the, those are the answers for number nine there. Okay. So we have, let's see, there's number 10, and then this is the end of the, uh, the section. Okay, this is the end of 5.1. We have practice your new skills. So, um, let's uh, take a look. Let's take a look at number 10 together. And do, do one more number 10. I want you guys to do the practice your skills questions on your own from what you know, okay? So let's do number uh, 10 together here. Okay, so the scale used on the drawing here uh, for number 10 is 12.5 to 1. Okay. 12.5. Now, if we have 12.5 to 1, notice this is the model and this is the actual object. So this is going to be um, a large scale model, right? So this is a large representation of something that's small. Okay? It's going to be like um, uh, an expansion, right? Okay. So what's the actual size of a mite? So we're talking about a mite, small little little mite that is drawn as 3.8 centimeters long okay well this is pretty easy um, we can set this up as a proportion 12.5 is to 1 as now the mite is this is the model representation so that's gonna go on top and we don't know the actual size that's X okay so it's pretty easy X and 12.5 they switch and we're left with x equals 3.8 divided by 12.5. So 3.8 divided by 12.5. Okay, so x equals 0 0.304 what? That would be centimeters, uh, right? Because we're talking with everything is centimeters in here. Okay, so remember that, you know, the top here is the model and the bottom is the actual. And if you keep that in, in line for the equation, both sides, then you can just solve for your unknown variable like we've been doing. Okay, so a cat is 30 centimeters tall. 
how tall is it drawn using the scale? Hmm. Well, we have 12.5 to 1. Where do I put the 30? On top or on the bottom? bottom? Yeah, the bottom is the actual. Right? So, let's find out what the uh, scale drawing would be. Well, 30 goes up here and multiplies by 12.5. So, x is now all by itself, and the 30 is up over there. Oops. Yeah, 30 times... 12.5 divided by 1. 30 times 12.5. 375. And everything is in centimeters. This Notice this scale doesn't have units. So this could be scale from centimeters to centimeters, meters to meters, kilometers to kilometers, whatever. Whatever we want. Whatever we want. It's just the scale, right? So you don't actually need units in the scale. And that's why centimeters are, are good here. We, we can use whatever we want. So do you think that it's useful to use the same scale to draw both the mite and the cat? So the mite is going to be this on the scale. And the cat is going to be this. That's almost four meters. <laughs> right? That's like the width of the classroom here. Uh, so to draw that, probably not a good idea to use the same scale. Right? So the cat would be way too big and the mite would be way too small to draw. Okay? <laughs> Judging from these. Okay? Alright. Do you guys have any questions so far? So complete C, please, on your own, just like we talked about here. Wouldn't be good scale T's for both. And then what I want you to do is take the rest of the class to um, work on the practice your new skills questions. And you're going to get most of these done, actually. We have enough time in class for you to get most of these done. So hopefully you'll take advantage of that. And there are how many questions? Let's see. Six. Yeah, it looks like six, seven, six questions. Okay. Please show all your work and circle your answers for the practice problems. Thank you.